Hi, welcome to Nasha's Art. Today we're going to learn to draw a Mott and Bailey castle. These are medieval castles that were built about 900 to 1000 years ago and they were built across Europe by conquering lords or kings who arrived upon a new land that they decided to conquer and they quickly put up a castle to keep their people and soldiers safe. As we draw the castle, we'll learn about some of the key features of it and what they were for. Uh, so let's get straight to it. The first thing we're going to do is draw the top of the mot. The mot is the mound or hill that the castle was built upon. So if we start off with an oval, and then a line a little line down either side and follow this curve of the oval to do a second line underneath. People who built castles in the Middle Ages, they actually sometimes used to find a hill for the mot, and other times they actually used to make the mot with lots and lots of stones piled on top and then soil. So that must have been pretty hard work. Okay, from either side we're going to come down to make a very steep mot. In fact, these were so steep that you couldn't climb them. They were made like that on purpose to stop people entering the keep which we're now going to draw. The keep was a building, tall tower with a wider top and a roof. And that's where soldiers could look out and survey the land around and make sure that they were safe and no one was attacking. So let's draw that bit next. I draw a line here and a line there, either side of it. and a shorter line about here coming down. You can rub that bit off, don't need it. And now we'll join these lines, join the sides, and we're gonna come out a bit because it has a, a wider top to it. I'm going to create a box this way. And now we're going to get that roof on. So line going in, line going in, join them at the top for the roof and one going across like that. And that is our, our keep. They were often wooden and then later on when they realised that the wood was a bit flammable and not as strong and would rot away with all the rain, they started making the keeps out of stone. We'll come back and add more detail to the keep. But we can add some lines for our fence. This was also made of wood. So we can continue that round and also you want to do the inside bit of the fence which goes behind the keep like that. I'm now going to put in all those wooden slats for the fence. We now want to join the fence with a sort of gate Like a slat of wood going across and some wider bits of wood either side. So it's a sort of strong gate. And we want some sort of stairs that go down with a fence either side. So I'm going to draw a line from here to about here and a line from here to about there. And 
and I'm going to also draw like a fence that gets a bit small as we go up and it gets further away. So soldiers could walk up these stairs safely knowing that the fence was there to protect them as they ran up to defend the keep from their enemies. So you can turn that into a fence. And now we need to create a curved line to show where the bottom of the keep, sorry, the bottom of the mot comes. So we're going to curve this round to here and then curve it round to there because the very bottom of the mot surrounding it is a ditch to make it harder for people, the enemy, to come in and attack and get to the keep. So we want to almost curve a line round to show that ditch. Sometimes there would be upturned spears like dug into the ground, pointing outwards. So if you tried to jump in or attack, you couldn't because those deadly spears were facing you and pointing directly at you. And they were stuck inside this ditch. And across the ditch, the only way to get across would be through a draw bit across a drawbridge. So we'll draw the drawbridge now. It was quite a simple drawbridge, not these fancy ones that we see on modern castles or newer castles. It's a simple drawbridge. We'll do the string like that, or the rope, sorry. There we are. And so if you were on this side on the stairs, you could quickly pull up the drawbridge when you needed to and it would become this tall barrier that no one could cross. We're next going to draw the fence that goes all the way around the outside of the mot and the bailey. That's called a palisade. It was made of wood. I'm going to draw a line coming down here and from here so that we can get that fence. Follow the upper line as you go. There we are. And we'll also draw the inside of the fence. Around the outside of the palisade is another deep ditch. We're going to do ours as a moat, um, you know, full of water to stop the enemies coming in. So I'm drawing the outline of the moat. Sometimes it wasn't filled with water, it was just very, very deep and filled with those up-pointed spheres. But let's draw one that will have water in. All right, we now need the main entrance to the whole enclosure. So this area is the bailey and we want our main entrance. So I'm going to put it about here. And this again would have been protected by a drawbridge over the moat. In fact, I might move it over because we haven't got as much room. You can decide where you put yours, depending on where you've placed your Mott and Bailey on the paper. I think I'm going to put it here because there's a bit more room. So let's 
draw one long line down like this and then a little further away another line that will denote where our main gate is. Let's get the drawbridge in now. Crossing the water. Remember everything was made of wood, so it would have been quite heavy and thick and strong. There's our drawbridge. There we are. And once we've got our drawbridge, we'll build the main gate, the main entrance. It would have been well guarded by archers, protecting, protecting the the bailey and all the people that are inside. So again, we're going to do a tall bit of wood coming up above, higher than the wall. Perhaps even a bit going back as if there's a little sort of shelter that's over the gate that goes behind the fence. And then we want the big wooden doors in there, big wooden gates. And often you could see the beams going across. So we'll draw the beams in, the beams of wood. Uh, they did them in a cross shape. I guess it made something stronger when you did that. So I'm going to draw in the cross shape of the beams of woods going beams of wood going across to make that gate much stronger to keep out enemies. And then the most important thing, of course, is that we need the, the strong rope that goes from here to there. Otherwise, they can't pull up that drawbridge. Not so happy with that one. Let's just make it a little bit straighter. Like that. There we are. So now we've got our drawbridge with the rope and the bridge can be pulled up to stop enemies from crossing and getting in. Here's a picture of a stone keep. It's been reconstructed to what people think it looks like. You can see the windows are quite small and that's for safety reasons. So let's get some of the wood panels in. I'm going to keep with the crosses, the beams that go across for some of it. And other bits I'm going to do the direction of the wooden panels. And small windows. So let's do a small window up here. Sometimes the windows are curved at the top, so we'll do a small one there. I'm going to do some more beams going across. When you do the beams, you make sure that they're parallel with the roof and the other, other areas that you've done, the other lines you've done. Otherwise, it looks a bit strange. Let's do another beam going across here. Keep it parallel and the beams going across. A 
I think the windows, they seem to be more higher up than lower down. Again, that's probably because you need to be high up to have a good vantage point to see everything around the castle. I'm going to do a sort of door here. And a beam, another beam going round like this. Maybe some windows up here as well. Have a good view from those. And then the beams for the roof. I read somewhere that these wooden keeps rotted and they had a big problem with keeping the water out. So they used to cover them in animal skins to keep them a, a bit more protected, which was quite interesting. All right. Next, we need to get the variety of houses that are inside the bailey. There were things like people's homes, the bakers, animal stables, blacksmiths where they make the bows and arrows and armour, workshops, a chapel, a hall where everybody would have a meeting. All these buildings would be in here as well as sheds to keep tools and open areas for animals to stay in. I'm going to show you how to draw one house from this kind of era and I'll leave it up to you to fill in trees, animals, etc. So I'm going to do a house about here. I'm going to do it large because it's near to us. I'm going to start with the front. Houses in this time, about 900 to 1000 years ago, were made of wood, sometimes mud, beams of wood, and uh, their roofs were thatched. So that means that there was dried hay or straw in bundles put together to create a roof. So that's why I'm doing quite a sort of a not very straight roof. I'm giving it some wiggly edges to show the thatched nature of the roof. And I'm also going to double this side up to show that as well. Next, we want to do the walls, which we'll come down like this for. Let's have a bush here. And we'll have the other wall there and maybe a tree just behind it. So I'm gonna draw a V for the branches, another bit coming down for the trunk. And then I'm going to do draw part of the tree behind the house and I'm going to come around like this for the rest of the tree. Okay, so the details on the house is the next step and we're going to really think about the beams of the house and where the pieces of wood make a pattern on the house. So I'm going to start with this area here and the patterns I'm going to draw either side of them. So I'm going to start like this with two lines coming down from the top. Then I'm going to come up at an angle and up at an angle the other side. Maybe I'll zoom in so this is easier to see. I'm then going to go the other side of that and the other side of it here. I'm not meeting in the middle and I'm going to go straight or horizontal like that. Double it up. Then we want one big beam going down. Finally, we want two beams going out to the side. This reflects the beams of wood that give the house its structure and kept it together. There we 
the eye. I'm going to make this bit a little thinner. I'm not too happy with the shape of that. So I'm just going to come in a bit and down a bit here. It was just a bit wide. Here you can see I'm adding more details and various other houses and trees. Some of the houses are smaller, some of the houses are taller, but I'm trying to keep the ones that are nearest to us larger. And then as I move on the other side, I'll make them smaller. I've made a central pathway going from the drawbridge at the bottom of the keep and that path leads to the main entrance. Here I'm doing a stables for horses, a little pen for some maybe sheep, and then gradually more trees, more houses, and more details. I hope you've loved this tutorial and have learned something new about Motton Bailey Castles. Please do like and subscribe. Your support is so appreciated. And if you want to see any of my other artwork, do visit me at Narshenkel Art on Instagram or Facebook.